it's a different tournament, but I think same Western Conference battle, and I don't think the way the game finished over there, they were happy about that. So, and I think they've been playing a bit different and getting better results. So I'm sure they're thinking the same, come in here, come into our house and, uh, you know, make it difficult on us and try to get something away from it. But, you know, we have to stay focused. We know it's a, it's a the round of 32, it's win and move on. And definitely we want to continue our journey in this, uh, in this tournament. We'll take a question from those on Zoom. Let's start with Josh Gross. Hey, Kai, how are you? Hi, Josh. What's up, bud? Um, so is there any noticeable difference from a knockout match to a group stage match to a league match, uh, something that players take into knockout matches that uh, mentally uh, you have to prepare for in a different way? Uh, yes, definitely. I mean, it's, uh, it's one of those where, like the way the game finished in, uh, in Austin the last time, we would have went to penalties. You know, it's not just trying to say, oh, close it out, you know, get a point from it. So uh, definitely, you know, coming in here, being a knockout match, you want to make sure you're moving on to the next round. That's one. But, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, you're staying co compact, tight. It's, it's funny. Sometimes most of these games end up in penalties because everybody's so timid and, you know, making mistakes and everybody's, you know, waiting back. But, uh, you know, for our team, the way we play, our style we play, it's completely different. And... Uh, I think it's a good thing too. We get to play in front of our home crowd, so you know the game, the approach that we're going to go into it is knowing the fact that it's League's Cup, but at the same time knowing the fact that hey, the last time we played these guys, they didn't uh, they didn't like the way the game ended up. And uh, Olivier joined you guys on Saturday. Just uh, wondering what it was like for Who? you to get a close-up perspective Who? of him. Who? Who? Uh, 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 Olivier Giroud. I think you've heard of him. Oh yeah, that, yeah, striker, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, striker, striker guy. Um, Joking. You know, up, up close perspective for you. Yeah. What have you seen and you know, what, what, do you, what do you think of him? Just the fact that I'm not the oldest, fittest guy on the team anymore. Somebody else comes in here that looks super fit. So a lot of respect for his career, a lot of respect for everything he's done. But um, super positive. You know, he comes in and he's not looking like he hasn't been here. It looks like he's met almost everybody before. Um, it's not one of those where everybody's trying to introduce themselves to him. Um, I don't know, he did, his, he did his homework too. He studied everybody's names, he knows everyone, and uh, he's blending in nicely. Did, uh, did he let you know that he was excited to be on the team, the same team as the second leading scorer in MLS history? I know, I'm gonna have to ask him that right after this interview. Actually, he never mentioned it, but uh, I'm gonna have to ask him that. All right, you can fill us in afterwards. <laughs> I appreciate your time, thank you.